Not so fun story. I've kind of been getting my ass kicked on the track lately. See, the thing is, when you start taking training super seriously, you're not gonna be the fastest person on the track every single Tuesday night. Not to mention, I race the ace category, so everybody there is faster than me in the first place. It just sucks to go week after week and see absolutely no results. So tonight, we're looking to change that. I've had a halfway decent rest week, and I'm all rested up and raring to go. Ideally, that'll show tonight, and I won't completely get destroyed. Here's the deal though. It's not all actually about results because if every race was about results, then you would never actually peak and see valleys. And that's important because I feel like sometimes you can get so wrapped up in your own head, and especially when you're not like winning everything, that you forget that this is a constant progression and it's a journey to just get better and better and improve. And if you're always racing people that you're always winning against, are you ever really learning and advancing and growing? Traffic really is getting excessive around here. Look at this. Is Pershing closed? Yeah, there's a car accident down there. Okay, is it closed beyond the velodrome? Uh, your best bet to get to the velodrome is go into Morley Field and park by the baseball field. Well, that sucks. Luckily, I know a secret. I just dropped my camera. Good Lord, that's like twice in two months. There are too many people around to commit crimes today, so looks like I had to walk. Bye-bye. Yo. Yo. We're vlogging. I'm vlogging you vlogging. <laughs> you can't vlog me, dude. I'm vlogging you right now. <laughs> what is carnipure carn car carnitine? Dude, he could win a, a pro race with a 250 watt FGD. I don't think you can ride like that. You don't think I can? Not safely. Yeah, not safely. <laughs> if I knew Adam and them were leaving so late, I would have fed up with them. You got double bikes? What up? I do. Just I'm back up for his backup. What? Hey Taylor Warren, what's your strategy? Uh, just hang on tight. Just hold the hand, not let go. <laughs> Just don't let go. <laughs> Never exchange. <laughs> I got some vitamin D for you. Use some vitamin D. I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> got to defend my territory. These boys are trying to take over. And that's when he knew.
hydrangeas with the fresh so. Come on, Taylor! I can only eat rice right now because I just got a new crown put on and the entire left side of my face is like still pretty numb. If you'll notice, the left side of my face, like, the, my mouth is kind of droopy still, so uh, we're waiting to get over that. So I got my ass kicked again on the track, and I'm not mad about it. The thing is, is all these dudes that I'm racing against on the track are, like, cat one, two guys that have been doing this for, like, five, six years. I am a cat three on the road, and now also a cat three on the track, and I've barely been racing this stuff for, like, one season, so... I always find that I get in my own head and I'm like, man, what the heck am I doing? But every time I get on the track with these guys and every time I like race some road with these guys, I learn so much from them. It's less sodium, don't trip. My point here, guys, is really that it's okay to not be the fastest, and in fact, I encourage you to race up, and that's really because you're learning so much more when you're getting your ass kicked. And even as a Cat 4, if you're just coming in racing, you're going to be up against dudes who have been racing Cat 4 for a few seasons now. Realistically, those guys, based on just racecraft by itself, will have a better ability at performing well in that race than you might if you're new to bike racing. I have to remind myself all the time that I am still a Cat 3 and I've been at this for legitimately one season. Everybody I'm racing out there has been doing this for years. And if they haven't, then they've just understood exactly how race dynamics work and they've gotten really good really fast or they're just insanely super sane type strong. Ah, oh, really hot. Oh man, all right, all right. Back to work. Yeah, it used to be like they would put a temporary on, they would send it off to a lab, it would get molded. Now they like print that thing out, man. And I was like, it's gonna be ready in two hours. She's like, yeah, two hours. I was like, this is crazy. Really brings me to my next point. A lot of people that you're racing against also don't have full-time jobs, especially when you start racing the pro categories or the P12 categories or whatever. And they get paid to race their bikes. You don't get paid to race your bike, so you know, I mean, you might, and if you do, then maybe you should win, but I don't get paid to race my bike, so winning all the time is not going to influence that paycheck at the end of the day. Just a thought. I get it. Not everybody's going to relate to what I'm saying here. I know some of you guys are prodigies and you've pretty much won everything. Maybe some of you guys never have this mental struggle that I've been dealing with. When your training just isn't lining up and you're not getting results all the time, it's tough. Cycling is full of ups and downs and it's just gonna be like that sometimes but like i said i always encourage you guys to race up get better and just keep at it keep training keep working putting in the time you will see results i do promise you that stick around check out some more videos i think it might be time for a coffee montage soon